What is the point of video marketing and why should I post some videos? That is a question that I was asked the other day from an individual, not on my team, but that I provide some uh, free coaching to, which I really need to get out of that habit. We'll go into that in a different video. Hey everyone, it's Michael Babcock here. I wanted to come to you and tell you guys a little bit about what video marketing can do for your business and why you should be producing videos. Videos are, are a great resource to be able to assist you with acquiring new leads by building relationships. The whole thing about internet marketing is that you, you need to be able to find people who know, like, and trust you. And the best way that people can get to know, like, and trust you is by recording regular videos and giving your followers or those people who are watching you and, and looking into joining you in a business a glimpse into your life, showing them how you are real and you're not just some person out there trying to take money from them. Let me give you a brief example of this. One time I recorded a video, just just a quick, you know, two, three minute video explaining who I was and what I did. Three weeks later, someone contacted me and said, hey Michael, I saw your video. I'd like to get started with you today. How do we go about doing that? Well, I got on the phone with them, talked with them a little bit more, and explained to them what we needed to do in order to get the, them started with one of my business opportunities. The second advantage to video marketing is once you record a video and you post it to a site like YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, Facebook, etc., then that video is there to stay. I mean, these sites, these major video sharing sites would have to close down in order for your video to go away, or someone would have to flag it. So, it's kind of like a set it and forget it mode of advertising. If you're involved with Z and Z, the Zip Not a Zilch network, and you know, you're posting your fifty to a hundred and fifty ads per day, then you know, you understand that it's real work. It's work that you're gonna have to do in order to be able to get paid for that day. But the nice thing about recording a video is you can record one video today. And two years down the road, if obviously your URL hasn't changed, two years down the road, that video could still be making you money. Five years down the road, ten years down the road, that video could still be making money, making you money. Now, what do you do with your videos? How do you upload them? And where, where do you share them? Let me let you know what I do with my videos. I record them on my iPhone, if you can't tell, it's, that's what I'm recording this one with. And I'm pacing. I'm going to have to open this and get me some more water. Um, but I record my videos on my iPhone. I then upload my videos to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash my own thing. After that, I upload my videos typically to my Vimeo channel. I don't even know what that link is. And then after that, I upload my videos to Daily Motion. Now, you do go to install an additional app to be able to upload your videos to Daily Motion. Uh, I think it's called Chimera. <clears throat> after that, I upload my videos to Facebook. So that's YouTube, Vimeo, Daily Motion, and Facebook. Now, I've got a couple of tools that I use. One is IFTTT, if this, then that. And that will take whenever I post a new video to YouTube or Daily Motion or Vi actually it's just YouTube or Vimeo. I think are the only two that that runs on. It doesn't run on Daily Motion. But whenever I post a new video to either one of those accounts, it will shoot out a link to my Facebook. It will shoot out a link to my Twitter. It will shoot out a link to my LinkedIn. It will create a draft blog post, and you can set it to automatically post the, post the blog, but it, right now I have it set to create a draft blog posting, and post that blog to Empowering the Blind. I need to go in and, and publish some of those postings. So there are tools out there that you can use to automate your video marketing and your sharing efforts. After I post a video to YouTube, 
especially if it's a video like this one. What I will then do is I will go and I will type up a 200 to 300 word blog posting is, is what I try to get it to. And I post it at blog.mbabcock.ws. That's B-L-O-G dot M-B-A-B-C-O-C-K dot W-S. That blog runs on the Internet Lifestyle Network platform. And, and I simply copy the URL from YouTube, paste it on its own line, and bam, there you go. It's an embedded video that people can view. Then I add a SEO, or Search Engine Optimized Title, and a SEO, Search Engine Optimized uh, Description to my blog posting. And I hit publish. After that, I take that same blog posting link. I'm going to implement LinkedIn into this here pretty shortly. But I take that same blog posting link and I post it on Facebook. Now, here's a little hidden gem. I have TTT whenever I post a new link. Like, I physically log in, not when they post a link, but when I physically log in and post a new link to my Facebook. I have TTT also shares that status and link to my Twitter. I could have IFTTT share it with my LinkedIn, and I might do that, but I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to automate that or if I'm just going to log in and manually do it on my own. Now, this might sound like a lot of work, but think about this. I have, I don't know, 150 on the low end, maybe 100, and it might, be, it might only be 130, but I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel. Again, youtube.com forward slash my own pay. If I decided tomorrow to not post any classified advertisements, then I would still potentially be able to get new leads from the efforts that I performed with my video marketing. So, why should you create videos? Yes, it sounds like a lot of work. What I just walked through literally might take someone two, three hours to do the first time. But first of all, if you do a lot of videos and you do videos regularly, then you'll be able to get down the process of sharing your videos with your friends and followers to, to an art. I mean, you can get it done real quickly. A lot of it can be done from your phone iPhone, Android, I'm going to get my hands on a BlackBerry to test out accessibility one of these days. Uh, hopefully a Windows Surface tablet, that'd be kind of cool as well to be able to test out accessibility on that as well with video publishing. But really, you post a quick video and bam, it's done. So, if you got any value out of this video, you got any, any tips or tricks or, or if this video helped you at all, do me two favors. Number one, punch that like button. If you're on an iPhone, flick and you're a voiceover user, flick over to the like button and double tap on it. If you're sighted, just tap on the like button. That's all you need to do. If you're on a computer, scroll down, click on the like button. Okay? And secondly, don't even join me in my business opportunity. If you want me to help you one-on-one -on -one with this, you do need to get started with me. However, if you want to get free tips more free tips without having to do anything more. Click the subscribe button. Okay? Click on the subscribe button and you will get notified via email each time I publish a new video to my YouTube. And hey, look, there's another way to share your videos. Hopefully you found this to be at least slightly valuable. And again, this was Michael Babcock with some reasons that you should create some videos for your video marketing efforts.